Hello, this is Fun with Folk Magic. I'm A.C. Fisher Aldag, and today we're going to talk about an old tradition called Meeting the Bows. Okay, today is Dip Dewey Sant, or St. David's Day. It's a celebration of Welsh culture. It used to be a Christianized holiday, um, but now it's more kind of secularized. It's more about Christianity, and that's why I am wearing the daffodil. It's a symbol of Wales. And it's supposed to be springtime. The daffodils are supposed to be up, but we live here in snowy cold Michigan, so the daffodils aren't up yet. Um, so we're going to do beating the bounds as part of our Die Dewey Sant or our Diff um, Dewey Sant St. David's Day celebration. This is a tradition that was done throughout the UK in the springtime. And it was originally a folk magic custom for ensuring that the village was free of negative energies, harmful entities, um, or evil spirits, as well as ensuring where your borders are. Um, it became Christianized with checking the boundaries of a parish for tithing or tithing, all about taxes. It was either the estate of the Lord or the boundaries of the parish, checking for taxes, and how many people lived within that parish. Before that, though, it was a pagan custom to drive away negative energies or evil spirits. And it's done in the springtime in conjunction with either a pagan holiday such as the spring equinox or um, St. David's Day or a Christian holiday. And we're doing it today so that we can just film it in time for WitchCon, which is Saturday, March 6th, this coming Saturday. Um, this tradition is still done in areas of the UK and still done here in the USA in several places, including in Vermont, where they do it once every seven years. It's just kind of a, a town festival, kind of a quaint custom anymore than I either a religious or secular thing. More about driving out the evil spirits. Um, so for beating the bounds, we hit the boundary markers, including stones, trees, buildings, and other things with a stick. We used to use this. This is our And he is going to commence with beating the bounds. Trying not to give everybody vertigo. There's our neighbor's house. There's Dave. There's his stick. Show me your stick, Dave. That almost sounded naughty, didn't it? Okay. And he is going to begin by hitting and striking the light pole and casting out any negative energies or harmful, baneful conditions. And we're going to go over here to our garden fence and cast out any negativity, harm, banefulness, bad vibes, curses, hexes, negative entities, negative energies, or those things that would cause harm. Rodents. <laughs> Rodents in our garden, Dave points out. We remove, cleanse, change, cast out, hence from any negativity, harm, banefulness, bad vibes, ill will, <laughs> and we're going to also summon back spring, which we really need. I don't know if you can tell, but it is snowing hard here in beautiful Michigan. Dave's playing with his life here. He's waking up the Kaylee. Waking up the earth. Waking up Donia. 
<laughs> Waking up Donia, okay. Kelly's the one who's putting down the blanket. No, no, go sleep a little longer. So another um, custom that we are doing here is burying the egg. And the reason for doing that is because the egg is supposed to attract um, negative or baneful energies. And then um, they're attracted to the egg. They go to the egg instead of coming and bothering the people that live in the house. So we put the egg into a hole and we name it. That's Dave and AC egg. And then put the sod back on top of it. This is also usually done at the spring equinox, but we want to make sure that we film it in time for WitchCon. Yay, we're done. Okay, then Dave can hold this again. Sorry, I hope I'm not giving everybody vertigo by moving this around. So that was our edition of Fun with Folk Magic for today, Beating the Bounds. I'm AC Fisher all day. Thank you for watching. Bendipian.